What's up guys, this is Andre and today we're going to talk about another important topic. We're going to talk about Etsy. So today we're going to talk about five different reasons of why you shouldn't sell on Etsy anymore. And why did I do this video? It's because last week I got another ban, another shutdown. They closed one of my other stores that was like brand new for a couple of months, already making sales, thousands of dollars in the account reserves. And I was like, oh my God, no email again no copyright infringement we did the appeal still gone so i'm like i i can't deal with this platform anymore i gotta make a video for everybody that wants to enter into this print on demand on etsy business because it's not it anymore when i started like two three years ago it was still making money but now since etsy kind of like upgraded the software you've seen ton of video of people complaining about random band that's what happened like over five months ago one of my main store more than 2000 sales random shutdown no nothing we didn't have any copyright infringement been trying to appeal for the past three months nothing there is no way you can talk to any type of customer success managers there is no way to contact them it's 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 a complete shit show not gonna lie so today it's gonna be a a, a very transparent video of telling the reason of why you shouldn't sell on Etsy, even if everybody's like, Etsy is the best platform system, Etsy is like the best way to make money. For me, the risk benefit that you can make out of it, it's, it's, it's not it anymore. So let's get into it. The first reason, guys, it's going to be the insanely increased fees. When I started, I was like, okay, you know what? I did Shopify, I did Amazon FBA. I still do those things, but the fees on Etsy were a little bit higher than any type of platforms. And now they've been increasing, increasing steadily. But every time it's like, oh, we're going to add another fee. Oh, we're going to increase another fee. And it's like at the end of the day, people don't realize if you make 30 percent and then they increase their fee by 5 percent, it's 5 percent less in your profit. And guys are going to be like, ah, oh, no, it's OK. It's not OK. When you add up to the cost and everything, it's not OK. So. You have different type of, fee, of fees that they, they, they added, the listing fee, the transaction fees, and even offside ads fees. The offside ads guys are like mandatory. Like you, you cannot rank on Etsy just doing full SEO. You need to do on-site ads and offside ads. So literally like one of the thing is like if you add up all those cuts, you can significantly eat into your profit. So Let's break it down a little bit about the, 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 the fees that they take, right? So they take 6.5% of transaction fee, then 3% on top of it for payment processing, then 10%. So it's almost, it's almost like 10% out of every sale gone. So let's say you, a product, $100, beam, $10 out. And if you part of the offside ads program, which I, I was recommending it because if not, you don't make sales and it's, it's, it's good to make sales like that because it increases the sales and then increase your ranking and everything. It can go up to 15% from every sale. So at the end, it's like 10 plus 15, 25%. If you do ads, regular ads, it's also another fee. So it's like at the end of the day, they take over 30% of like the, 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 the fees in total. So like you don't even make profit. The second one, guys, is going to be over saturation. You've seen all those TikTok influencer talking about getting into Etsy, all those women telling that it's the best business, do print on demand, you do a little design on like Canva, put it on a t-shirt, on a mug, you're going to make thousands of dollars. At some point, it was true. I still think some girls and some people can make money out of it, but it's, it's not it. And the risk reward, guys, it, it's not there anymore. Like you're going to invest a lot of time, especially when you do the print on demand, know that it's not part of the Etsy um etsy policies anymore like most of the spring domain store they're gonna get shut down they are gonna get shut down like it, i'm a i'm a good example like we don't do designs we do print on demand but like with our i mean we don't do copyright stuff it's our own stuff and we still get shutting down so it, it's just like it's it's not very profitable for the long term and then they hold your money for six months and they got a release and a guy like me that like always juggling with the cash flow you need those money that you made out of the sales so it's not a very it's not a very good look for Etsy about the oversaturation there is so many new people wanting to join Etsy doing the same thing all those people are selling courses you should do these do this product and so you see the same product a thousand times first it's harder for a client to make a purchase because he see the products like 10 times so he doesn't know which one to purchase and then second even for you to just differentiate yourself from 
all those buyers. It, it's, it's not very sustainable for the long term. So it, Etsy has been flooded with seller and especially new sellers that want to make it. So this is my thing. Even with a great SEO with keywords and, and advertising, it can still feel like you're just a drop in every crowded, in a very crowded ocean, guys. And as a small business, your time is limited. So competing with you, seller that has been there for years can really be a challenge, okay? The third one is limited control. This is like one of the main reason why I'm like literally leaving Etsy and not getting any money, none of my business back on it, is the limited control. On Etsy, you really don't own your business, okay guys? You're selling stuff through a marketplace. It's not the same as Shopify, but like you own everything and you can do as you want. Shopify has some rules for sure, don't break them, but it's not as strict as Etsy, okay? So Etsy set the rules and they can change whenever they want. If you've seen like the number of accounts, I'm talking about millions of accounts that has been shutting down for the past six months. Millions of people that have been doing money that it was a side also. Me, it was a real business. I still have my Shopify stores outside of Etsy, but I'm not gonna lie, it was bringing between 20 to 30K per month but it was good, it was constant, it was working. We worked for over a year for our SEO, getting the reviews, a whole marketing strategy. But now it's like, I'd rather put more marketing into my Shopify stores because it's it's like, I know they're not gonna get bad. I know I'm not gonna have the same type of problems. It's, it's, it's not the same, guys. So, for example, Etsy has very strict policy on what you can sell and what you cannot sell. And they have been known to suspend or even close shop without much warning. My case, no email. And I'd be telling them, you didn't even warn me. Boom, shutting down. So if your shop gets shut down, guys, allow your customer data and reviews are gone. Just like that. So you lose everything. And usually you appeal. The store that I was talking about last week, I appeal. First time, guys. First time. It's no copyright, no nothing. Appeal rejected. Final thing. Not even, you cannot even talk to somebody for real. Like it, it's, it's crazy, it's crazy. Now the reason number four is the pressure to discount. So on top of it, them making like a lot of money because they've been increasing their fees. If you don't make discounts on Etsy guys, you won't make any sales. It, it, it's known like, and it's also a marketing strategy. When you see a discount on a website, it's gonna push you to take these offers and make the purchase. Etsy is, <laughs> The, the, the number one platform for making discounts. You see all products are on discounts. It's like, oh, buy three, get this. Oh, buy the, the number 30% off. It's like Etsy often promotes sales and discount if, and if you're not participating, you're literally out. Like they don't even take you in consideration. So it create a pressure for you if you're a small business to like kind of reduce on top of your fees that they take that are super high. Then you gotta do discounts, right? So you less profits for you and it's just never stopped. So here is the thing. If you are always running sales, it also devalues your work. You shouldn't have to cheapen your product just to keep up with Etsy algorithm or marketplace ring. In the long run, it's just not sustainable, okay? Me, as like a brand that I had, we were making money, but I'm not gonna lie, out of those 20, 30K per month, the profit were very, very slim compared to Shopify, where we own everything, we control everything. There's still some fees, processing fees, whatever, but it's still very low compared to Etsy. Now, the last one, the reason number five, is that there is alternative platforms, guys. You have so many options for selling your products, even if you do print on demand without giving away most of your profits to Etsy, okay? It, and and they're, it's not a platform that is going to help you. At least Shopify has a, a department, a legal department, they're a way bigger company, and they talk to their clients, they talk to those people, okay? I still had some running business because of people putting like the claim, DMCA notice and everything, which they were very open about it. They were like, hey, we understand, you answer the DMCA, this was probably a bad like competitors that want you to shut down, but at least they answer, they understand, they give you chances. It's not like Etsy where they shut down and then you can't do anything and talk to anybody. So platforms, I really recommend Shopify, I'm a big guy of Shopify. WooCommerce too is good, but it's like more technical if you really don't know anything about like coding or like making website and e-commerce, 
Just go for Shopify, it's an easier platform. Or you even can sell on social media. I know some girls, they sell like uh, crafted and handmade stuff on social media. They're killing it over there. So all those platforms outside of Etsy, you have way, way more control, okay? So by moving to your own website or a different platform, guys, you get to keep more of your earned profit and truly own your business, okay? And this is what matters for the long term. If you want to develop yourself, make a real brand out of it. So in conclusion, guys, those are the five reasons why you shouldn't sell on Etsy anymore. The fees are getting higher. The marketplace is super crowded. You have limited control over your business. And there are way better alternatives out there, like your own store, that lets you keep more of your money and build a real brand. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I try to be real transparent about it. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to comment. And I will make more video now. Next week, I probably will talk about a brand that is like killing it on Shopify, doing the print on demand business too. And that's it. Subscribe and see you next week.